Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, you can see right there, that gentleman on the freestyle of skiing on the half pipe, Mike Riddle, Canadian Olympian, Canadian silver medalist, and uh, he joins us this morning. Uh, what, what a huge experience. So, you know, we were just talking, uh, as a kid, you like to bounce off things, and now you're, you're making it a, a living. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm lucky in that way that I can I can ski full time for a job. I have some amazing sponsors, and it, it's been uh, it's been uh, an amazing uh, last couple of weeks with the Olympics and showing my sport to the world. Yeah, your sport wasn't always an Olympic sport. It's only in 2011. It used to be known as the hot dog of skiing, uh, but it really is the most visual way to watch skiing. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it's it's very exciting. It's, it's pulled pretty much straight from the X Games, so it, I, they're going for that youth demographic with it. And uh, yeah, I'd like to think that it's exciting to watch, and hopefully, we'll be around for many years to come on the Olympic stage. Tell me about that day. Your mom was at the bottom of the hill. Uh, you, are you nervous up there? You know, you, you're thinking about excellence, or, or what? What's going through your mind? Uh, well, there's always nerves for sure, and especially at such a big event, like uh, you're going to be a little jittery. But uh, we've been training for it for a long time, and, and we have big events every year with X Games and Do Tour, so we're kind of a little bit used to it. And uh, well, I just tried to go out there and uh, put down a run for myself, and I really managed to not focus on all the pressure. and. Uh, and it worked out for me, so that was uh, that was pretty good. Being an athlete is, you know, it's about training and all this, but it's a lot about having fun while you're up there, like just loving the moment. Yeah, yeah, no, um, for me, growing up skiing, it was always about having fun, and I was always that kid that was trying to jump off the little jumps on the side of the hill, so the freestyle programs fit really well for me, and, and I enjoyed it a lot, and just kind of slowly progressed to where I am today. What's it like being in the air? Is it, it, you know, the word awesome, is that a way to describe it? Like, what's it like to be when you're up there just kind of cruising? <laughs> it's pretty awesome, yeah. Uh, especially in a half pipe, when you reach an apex, you actually have a moment of weightlessness, which you don't get on the jump. So it's, it's a really cool feeling, and it's, uh, it, it makes it unique for sure. Uh, do you ever ever have those feelings where you're like, oh, here we go, and you gotta you gotta catch it back to bring it back and gain control? <laughs> Definitely. <yeah. laughs> Every once in a while, you get a little loose, but you gotta. Um, you, well, we we train a lot, so you kind of know when you have to really pull it back together to get into your landing and when you're just good right from takeoff. So it definitely goes both ways. So what's next for Mike Riddle? Uh, well, I have a couple more events. Uh, I go to Europe on the 16th, and uh, when I come back, I have a North Face Athlete Summit, so they're going to bring in myself with all the other athletes, like the climbers, so that's always fun. Uh, and then I go, uh, I'll be back in Whistler, that's where we're based out of, and I'll be up there on the glacier for summer camp and then start it all over for next year. Awesome. I look forward to seeing what you do in the yeah. future. Uh, an awesome athlete, Thanks an so awesome guy. His website as well is uh, absolutely fantastic, so check it out. It's MikeRiddle.com. You can see the cool thing he, he does. And I'll tell you, if I did them, body cast. <laughs> body cast. Yeah, we're going to take a break right now, a, a proper break, that is, from Breakfast Television. Look at that. There's the medal right there. Proud.